pull on this. Next! CapeCast! Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for May 13th. We visit one of the Cape's last taffy makers in the second half of the show, but first let's take a look at news. In the Check Your Tickets Department, today's high winds canceled several Steamship Authority ferry trips between Hyannis and Nantucket this morning. The wind is still a blowing, so ferry travel remains on a trip by trip basis. Check steamshipauthority.com for more information. In the Who's Mining the Isotopes Department, workers at the Pilgrim Nuclear Power Station in Plymouth are threatening to walk off the job this week if they can't settle a contract dispute with the company. Employees are seeking better wages and working conditions. Hey folks, Cape Cass got the skinny on taffy yesterday at Cabot's Candy in Provincetown. Okay, we're deep here in Taffy Central at Cabot's Candy in Provincetown. And Scott, we want to know about the theory of taffy making. How do you start and where does it go? Well, we start here in the general cooking area. So the corn syrup comes out, we fill the kettles, a little butter, margarine, salt, shortening flakes, really. Um, we cook it to temperature. It's very important to make sure it's the right temperature, which varies depending on the season. When it comes to temperature, again, hopefully not all at the same time, they go to the next room over here. So the kettles are ready, so we pour them on the table here. We have cold water that is pumped through all these tables. So we pour one, sometimes a second one at the same time. We sort of move them around until they get cool enough where not too liquid but not too hard. After it's cooled down, we've had the coloring and the citric acid, it goes to the machines that are behind you. So once it's uh, cool enough but not too hard, they go on the taffy pullers here. They're pulled on this machine, looks more like a bicycle. Um, here we introduce the flavor and it also introduces air into them. Um, you know, we run them, if you run it too long, it can be a problem. And if you don't pull it enough, it can be a problem. So again, it's something with experience and time you learn. Depending on the flavor, sometimes they're folded because you have a stripe on the outside or a center in the middle. So you have to fold them and roll them just right. So you roll them into a, a ball and then you lug and lift it onto these batch rollers. So you put the rubber raft on here and eventually it gets smaller and smaller until you can run it through the rope sizers. Now, what got you into making taffy, uh, and why do you like it so much? Well, first of all, I like it because it's very creative, you know. But I really got into it because of the money, you know. The money was good, and being an immigrant, I had to make a million dollars, you know. Coming up here, I was like, eh, because I thought taffy might have had the reputation of being like the fruitcake of candy, the kind of thing you give as a present, mm -hmm. but no one ever eats. It seems here you guys take pride in actually making something that's pretty tasty. Yeah, it's uh, small batches, and John's sort of the expert, but from what I've learned through the years is that, yeah, it's, you know, we do it small batches. It's a higher quality. It's more of a gourmet taffy. Okay, let's find the sweet spot in the world of sports. Cape Tech strung Chatham along in boys' high school tennis yesterday, taming the Blue Devils 5 to nothing. Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast back by Provincetown Harbor Video. For tonight, mostly clear with a low around 44 and the wind will subside. For Wednesday, sunny with a high near 61. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for May 13th. Till next time, see ya! Cape Cast.